Yo, what's up, YouTube? Alvice Assassin here. Um, today I just got my first Photoshop tutorial video, and today I'm just gonna be teaching you guys how to make a professional YouTube background. Now, this was requested by many, many people, guys, and um, I'm just gonna teach you um, for beginners, you beginners, guys. This is um very helpful for beginners how to make a professional youtube background now heaps of you guys have been asking me how do i make a youtube background now this isn't going to be giving you the full detail um and you're going to be professional in backgrounds but this is a great way to start now first you're just going to want to open photoshop and uh, download the link in the description um it's it's a, um, a youtube background template that i made um and yeah, so what you're gonna want to do is download it, and then um, it's only 28, um, 21.8 kilobytes. So um, not, you're not gonna be wasting any downloads. So yeah, um, and that's all it is. Um, and then um, skip screen, um, and you can see that this is um, what you downloaded. Drag it into Photoshop, and I'm just gonna rename this module. Well, that's I don't really know how to pronounce it to be honest, guys. So don't hate. <laughs> anyway, um, you're gonna want to make a new layer by um, you know, here where you have the layers. Uh, there'll be the recycling bin kind of thing. Um, and next to that there'll be a like create a new layer button. Yeah, just wanna click that and layer one will come up. You can also go like the top layer, new new layer, or you can use the shortcut tool, which is um, Shift, Control, and N. Anyway, so we got layer one, and I'm just gonna call that gradient tool or gradient. Sorry, just gradient. And you're gonna gonna move that behind the um, the background template. And what you're gonna wanna do is select your two colors. Um, so first, it's gonna be black and white. Um, and you're gonna wanna select two colors that you'll be um willing to use. Um, I will use blue. Um blue and black now I always like to use one color and a black um, that's just how I like it um, and yeah so what you're gonna want to do is um, oh and by the way guys if you can't if I know a lot of people that can't find the gradient tool what you're gonna want to do um, it's probably gonna be a paint bucket like this and you're just gonna click and it's just gonna turn blue anyway um, you're gonna want to hold it or just click it on um, the paint uh, bucket and click gradient tool Anyway, and then um, it this is gonna be linear um, right here, and you're gonna want to change it to radial And then when you what you're gonna want to do uh, just before you hold the cursor um, down hold shift down on your keyboard um, and then hold your cursor and just drag it uh, and if you hold shift, that's where it makes a straight line, and then you're gonna want to let go. Now, um, I believe I have too much black around the corners, but uh, if you just select, um, just keep going until you got a good color. Um, and yeah, I believe maybe this one's good. Um, right here. So um, now that is your main color of your background. Now you're gonna want to make a new layer, and you're gonna want to just call this texture or whatever, yeah. And you're gonna want to go into Google Images, or you can download um this from my GFX pack. I'm not really sure if that's released yet or anything, um, because I don't really know when I'm gonna upload this video. But um, you can go to Google Images and um search Photoshop textures or something, and um just save the image and then drag it into photoshop now here i got a bunch of textures um which i got from um google images and stuff so uh and some gfx packs from other youtubers and i just collected them all and yeah so um you can just select uh, any textures I'm just gonna be looking around um this one is good just drag it in and um, I'm gonna drag in space as well. 
Now, as you can um, maybe tell, if if you're not really professional with uh, Photoshop, then you might not know. Uh, your document isn't gone. Um, you have this bar at the top full of new like documents, and here is um, one of the textures, and here is what we've been working on. So what you're gonna want to do? This is the space one. Uh, you can just search this, I think, by going um searching space on Google Images. It's not really a texture, just yeah, <laughs> just a picture of space. Um, and paste it in. Then you're gonna want to resize this to the whole um screen. Yeah. And you're probably gonna say, why did you do that? Well, you're gonna change this uh from normal right here the blending mode um or you can just double click and then your blending mode is here and change this to overlay now you can tell uh it looks really nice but it's too dark so you're gonna want to put the opacity down until it looks about right so right um perhaps about there it looks right uh for me it looks cool and that was at 69 percent <laughs> or 70 percent um Anyway, so I'm just going to close this, and uh, I'm going to make a new um, layer, and I'm going to call this Texture 2. And you can just keep uh, trying out new textures, and if you don't like it, then don't use them. Um, that's what I do, I just keep trying, and then um, you're going to resize this as well. and just apply and then you're going to want to change this to overlay again um and you're going to want to put the opacity down not too much you know um uh, but because you want to see the texture but you don't want to make it too dark or too um high of the transparent um or too high of the opacity that it doesn't really look nice like um i don't know maybe Perhaps 57 is good, uh, 60 around there. Uh, just it depends because uh, this is gonna look different for you guys. And also for the um, this layer, the background template that I gave you guys, you're gonna want to put the um, the opacity down just a little bit. Um, and if you don't if you don't like how it's dark, then you can um, double click on this or click on the effects tool and put a color overlay and select the white. Um, and then put the opacity down more a little bit, um, or something like that, guys. I'm not really sure how you guys want it. Um, yeah, guys, so, um, now, um, I'll just set this back to the way it was. Alright, too much opacity. Um, and... I'm gonna add a stroke and I'm gonna change this color to white so uh, it's noticeable and you can make the size larger but you don't want to make it too large obviously just um, perfect size and yeah so that seems right for me I'll put the opacity down you know you can play with the play around with this um, settings and if you want to copy this well this is 7 and this is 80, 83 um, click on OK. Now, um, now the text. Now I, I love 3D text. Um, and I do need 3D text in my, um, background. So, I do use Cinema 4D, and then I render it transparent, then drag it into um, Photoshop, and then i add the text in now if you want me to make a video of that i can for you guys um anyway so i'm just gonna write i device assassin i can't really see that because it's really small or well, um all right now select the um select all the text and um you're gonna want to change the size obviously to a certain size perhaps a hundred um perhaps two hundred now perhaps all right you know what i'm gonna write or right, i'm gonna write i device and i'm gonna make the size um 300 350 and i'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees 
and you know just about right and then hold control on your keyboard and you can uh, move it along um, or you can just use that tool and you're going to want to make the size just a little bit smaller you know you don't want to be um, taking too much but if you um, since you want the size not to be too um, out of shape and stretchy or tall whatever you're going to want to hold shift and then make it smaller whatever I'm just going to set it about there and grab the uh, click apply select all the text and change this to white now um, here you got iDevice there and I will make a new layer and write alright now I believe it froze oh okay, it didn't freeze assassin and I'm going to change that to white as well so uh, people can actually read it anyway and um, you're going to want to select this tool and hold shift uh, to rotate it um, so it goes perfectly um, drag it to wherever you want hold shift and make uh, it smaller uh, without making it look all stuffed up now drag it wherever you want and there you go guys so um here's this background i made um you can add more things like um you can add an apple symbol if you like um and if you guys are wondering what font i used right here it's called bevis or something uh, you can get that at thefonts.com just search it up on google um and yeah um also um guys um yeah basically that's all um so tell me what you think if this helped you out a little bit um if not tell me what um videos i should make for you and tell me why you didn't like it so don't please i don't really like when people just dislike a video and don't tell me why they dislike it um it's fine um if you dislike it just i would just want you guys to uh tell me and if you guys liked it please like this video um and if you can favorite it so thanks for watching guys and i hope this helped